everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round one of the Sullis Galactic Qualifier, our first of five qualifiers leading to the Galactic Championship in October. Today, I'm joined by my good friend James Ritter on commentary, stats, and stuff. Yeah, very excited uh, for this first qualifier. Uh, just knock it out of the park today. And shout out to Tommy Adams, our judge for the event. So today, five rounds. Four rounds gets you into the top cut. Three wins. Sorry, I keep saying rounds. <laughs> Four wins gets you into the top cut. Three wins gets you an invite to the Galactic Championship. And we will see how this goes. We have Scum versus the Resistance. And we're going to go ahead and start breaking down these lists. But before we do that, let's go ahead and play a little bit of Choose Your Champion. That has been activated in the chat. If you know, don't know how to play, the instructions are there on the bottom of your screen. All right, James, let's go ahead and start breaking down these lists. Everybody at home, Choose Your Champion. All right, uh, just starting at the time real quick. All right, uh, yeah, so today we have a scum and resistance match off. On the left, we have Anthony Marchand flying some scum. He's flying two Y wings, two M3As, and a Hawk. Uh, and a hawk. Those pilots are going to be. Cavill in the BTL A4 Y Wing with the uh, zero point costed, which I think actually could be really helpful here. Tierfon Belly Run talent, allowing them to attack at range zero with special attacks. He has dorsal turret, proton torpedoes, and electro chaff missiles. So a big loadout there. Uh, we'll see if those chaff missiles prove to be very dangerous. We also have Lee McKay in the Y-Wing from the new uh, pack. Uh, haven't seen too much of Lima, but very excited. Um, she has uh, some abilities to get some locks uh, as basically for free actions when she engages. Also has Tier Von Belly Run, Dorsal Tart, and Proton Torpedoes. So packing a punch. And speaking of punch, there's two more... Proton Torpedoes in these N3As with Sarasu being able to give some rerolls to herself and friendlies. And Genesis Red uh, being able to lock someone of uh, same initiative or lower and grab their green tokens. Those tokens are my tokens. Base. Yeah. Just, yeah, I'll copy those. Paste over here. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> uh, and uh, Genesis also has Elusive. Uh, so a huge loadout on Genesis Red. Um, being a little bit more defensive, and if able to stay close to Sarasu, gets an elusive reroll and a Sarasu's reroll. So, uh, with those extra green tokens, very hard to take down. And to round out the list, the uh, the linchpin a little bit here, we have Gamut Key in the Hawk 290 Light Freighter with elusive and protectorate Gleb, being able to get a uh, fairly cheap coordinating platform out there, only three points. And being able to pass that stress off uh, because the Hawk Dial is not that great at clearing stress, uh, but does have the elusive to be even more defensive. Then on the other side, we have Jason Lau with the resistance. Let's go ahead and start with the highest initiative ship. We got Poe Dameron as foils, of course. This is the Heralds of Hope. Poe Dameron, the Resistance Commander. We got Heroic. We got Ferrosphere Paint. It's an upgrade that is absolutely fantastic. We don't see people play it too many times. Uh, after an enemy ship locks you, if you are not in that ship's bullseye, that ship gains a stress unless it chooses to break its lock. R4 Astromech is uh, reducing those 1 to 2 speed basic maneuvers, making them a little bit easier to do. And of course, Proton Torpedoes, because why not bring a 4 dice attack if you can fit it? Then 
we have Nia Numb, a name that I have not said in a long time. Marksmanship, to change those hits to crits while firing in the bullseye. We got Pattern Analyzer, while you fully execute a red maneuver. Before the check difficulty step, you may perform one action. So being able to get a little bit more action economy, of course, that does synergize nicely with Nia Numb's ability after you gain a stress. If, you are, if there's an enemy ship... In your front arc at range 0 to 1, you may remove that stress token. And then R6D8, giving you the possibility of more rerolls. Basically, basically you got friendly ships with bullseyes on, uh, on the enemy you're firing. You get some rerolls. Pretty solid there with R6D8. Continuing the list, we got Kaz uh, with Notorious, Contraband Cybernetics, Shield upgrade, targeting computer, and Kaz's fireball, making it a little bit more beefy on that side. Pretty solid. You're going to see Kaz also getting a, a boost in attack and defense against enemies who... Initiative is higher than his number of damage cards. And to round out the list, we got Covanel with the classic pairing of Heroic, Leia Organa. Of course, that is the Resistance version. And R4 Astromech. And here we go. We are entering into that second round. And we are starting to, uh, to see the salvage getting picked up. Yeah, I I do. I just want to mention real quick. I do love that they left Kova's uh, left Kova with enough loadout to take the upgrades that she really needs to excel heroic, Leia, and R four. Uh, with without that combination, she just doesn't shine as much as um, you would like. So mm -hmm. having having those upgrades, uh, big big thank you to uh, the team that is doing points because. Man, that would be a sad Kova without all of those things. All right, so we had uh, Lee Makai hit the obstacle there and take a damage. Take two. Take two. Ooh, dose. Now one for the regular effect and one for the roll. All right, uh, James, if you could do me a favor and uh, jump to Tommy, uh, so I'll keep commentating here. And if you and him can start at the top, top uh, one start at the top, one start at the bottom, and just confirm to see how many tables we still ha see having trouble. All right, let's continue here. Looks like we have our shots here. We got Poe Dameron going into Sarasu. And we are getting started here. Oh. And... And here we go. Just a focus on that attack for a long range of Poe. So Sarasu is going to end up being fine there. Next attack coming from Nian. Two hits. Sarasu focus evade and re rolls. Should be fine and is on the initial roll. Looks like Cavill didn't have any shots. Sarasu has a shot here at Kaz from downtown. Sarasu has proton torpedoes as well and has a target lock out there. Are we going to see it? And the answer is yes. This it will end up being fully modified. Got the single blank. Two focuses and a hit. Here's the reroll. Looking for paint. Spend the focus. That's going to be three hits and a crit.
Okay. And we're going to go ahead and see that Kaz took a damage engine there after the damage. Big, big money. And it's going to be shots back. At least Kaz lived to fight through this at initiative four. Here's a roll. Kaz got hit crit. No tokens in sight. And I think she's still got an evade. So should be fine. And just waiting for James. James will update that right now. He's doing some judge stuff. Very soon, my friends. Very soon. All right. And with that, the scoring of the salvage. We're going to have uh, Anthony going up two to one. After that, there's still... Uh, because of the critical damage on the Proton Torpedo, we had one salvage end up getting dropped by Kaz there in the backfield, bottom right. And Lima was unable to do the scenario action because of hitting the rock. So two to one. We'll get that fixed up here in a second. Again, James is... Is out there doing doing some judge work. Now I know that the bets came in late. The bets came in late, uh, and then we had our we had our our major crash here, uh, which we are still recovering from. Shout out by the way, any players out there? Global timer has been stopped, so that we can uh, get everybody solved before we continue. If you are a player and both of you and your opponent uh, have fixed your game and you guys can start playing, go ahead and get going. Now, Tierfon Belly Run is uh, is a card that uh, I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of. Range zero. Uh, of obstacles so it says here you can perform attack special attacks even while at range zero of obstacles so those are uh, going to be proton torpedoes and dorsal turrets uh while you defend if you're at range zero of an obstacle attack dice cannot be rerolled i mean but it, it i mean this is too a little bit early in the uh <laughs> in the fight to be testing that out i think that was a a, a mistake i think that was a mistake on uh, on anthony and i don't mean like a mistake as in he chose to go on the rock. I think he accidentally hit the rock. Is this round one or two? This is round one. Oops. Sorry, the round timer isn't on there. What? What, what is happening? Let's go ahead and get that fixed for y'all. That makes sense. I was wondering. I, just lo I was looking at my, my screen and wondering. It felt, felt like something was missing. Round one. There we are. We're in the first round right now. Looks like we have solved most of the issues. Maybe one table is still having a problem. Two tables are still having a problem. All right. We'll, we'll yeah, get I think them. Most of them look good. All right. Excellent. All right, we'll help out those folks as we go. Uh, 
All right. And uh, for for updates, Kaz got punched in the face by a proton torpedo. Took four, uh, took three more damage. So lost shield plus three cards. As we know, Lee Makai already lost a couple of damage on those shields, and we had one, one small plink off Poe for uh, hitting the friendly ship earlier. Looks good, looks good, looks good. So I think the my the biggest thing I'm worried about is just because the. Uh, you know, a a Anthony could have been up 3-1 here if he hadn't hit that obstacle with Lima. Um, but, I mean, he's still, he's still ahead. Still ahead, right? Still working out. Looking at our uh, Choose Your Champion, for those who participated, it looks like we had uh, Anthony have a, a slight edge there, 53%. It looks like James is still still working on that stuff. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let him do the do. Entering our third turn of the match. It's like Kaz took a stress there after doing a three turn, and Cavill coming quick. Lima as well. We're going to see a, a target lock out there. That is aggressive. Looking for some proton torpedo action there. Everybody's always chasing those proton torpedoes. Always. Sarasu as well slapping a target lock down on Poe. Now, Nia Num staying straight here probably means that Poe's doing the same, and he's going hes going to get blasted for sure. We see that Gamut Key uh, did a coordinate action to Sarasu in order to uh, have that fully modified Proton Torpedo. Um, if I was Poe, you could avoid that Proton Torpedo by uh, barrel rolling. Into range one, it'd be only a three dice attack instead of a four dice attack if he wanted to. It looks like Poe's going to focus, could use his ability now, and is going to target lock. And looks like he's choosing violence as well. All right, here we go. Poe firing a proton torpedo at Genesis Red. Whoa, there you go. No need to spend that focus. Hopefully that helps on defense. One hit, three crits on defense, only a single evade. And I don't see, let's see, there's a, he re-rolled the defense dice. Genesis Red have elusive. does okay was able to get the evade and takes two that's going to be a shield a crit and dropping the uh the crate here which may have been the the goal takes a panicked pilot as well double stress that's good. that means for the scenario that action is not going to be available no towing for you And we're going to drop that at range one. All 
All right, after Poe. I believe Sarasu is up. Or Cavill. <laughs> Gravin is saying that Elusive's not coming back for a minute. You are correct. That will not be happening. Sarasu, now with her Proton Torpedo. Not as solid, but has the mods. There it is. Natural crit. Spends a focus. And able to convert one more hit to a crit for two hits, two crits. And we see a single evade and a focus there. Spend for two. So that focus ends up helping out. Two criticals end up landing. And those are the rest of the shields. Is there a sub goal for today? There is. Oh, it didn't show up. Oh, my goodness. There is. Our sub goal is 300. We are climbing the mountain today, this weekend. And we will continue to climb until we hit it. But hold on. It's not active yet, so I have to, I have to go fix it. I noticed that uh, I need to turn it on. So give me one second. Here so that we can make sure that we get everybody's subs in. And Cavill slapping there another damage engine on top of Kaz. And Isophane dropping 50 subs right there to get us going. As I panic <laughs> to try to get the um, the overlay corrected. Thank you, Isophane. All right, we got another attack coming in here. Two hits and a crit. One evade. One second here. That defense coming up a bit short. That means that Genesis Red is going to be taking a little bit more damage. And I think that means that Genesis Red just got removed from the table. Okay. Lee Makai. Oh, going to be targeting Cavill with the ability.
All righty. Trying to get this fixed on our side. You got you to gotta love when you're... <laughs> When everything's on fire over here. All right. All righty. Shouldn't... Sarasu be stressed due to fair um Sarasu has Poe in the bullseye. So that is why Ferris Fear Paint would not trigger there. Good question though. Good question. One Sixty. So we are at sixty subs for the day. And Trying to see if we can get this fixed on our side. Thank you, thank you guys for your patience. And yeah, why is that not showing up? Poe was not in the bullseye when the lock was taken. Ah, uh, okay. Wait. All right, there you go. We have fixed that on our side. <laughs> we are going to have the players take a second and adjust the dials for what they need. And we also have our sub counter up and ready. That's incorrect. That's wrong. It's 60. We are at 60, but the top number should be 300. There it is. All right. Okay. We're good to go. Looks like we got that adjusted correctly.
Make sure to thank anybody who got you a gifted sub. It's always nice to do. And Kova taking a focus there. All right, we got a target lock out there for Nian on to Gamut Key. Nian's ability does end up activating there. A bit deity shows up, dropping twenty subs. And we got Cavill out here dropping target locks on Covenel. We are going to get some big fighting here. More target locks. More four dice attacks being tossed out there. Lima Kai. And Poe, one straight to victory. It's a good strategy. And here we go. Four dice attacks begin. Three hits coming in from Poe. Trying to get Lee Makai off the board. Blank focus. Reroll with Sarah Sue and coming up empty there. No green tokens out there on Gamut Key. That means it's taking three damage. Gamut Key is yet to. No, I guess had a focus out there. Sorry, missed that. So there should be two shields. Hole is exposed. We got focus crit. Another roll. Spending for two hits and a crit. Neon nub. Oh, Natty's still takes a critical damage there, though. That's going to be a fuel leak. Now here comes Cavill. Has a target lock out there. Another proton torpedo. Not a great roll. Crit focus double blank. Hoping to convert. Got it. Spends the focus. Two hits, two crits. And takes the squiggle. That's going to be hit, crit, crit. Getting pushed through on Covenel. Kova losing those three shields. And another four dice attack. Lima Kai, this is a four dice attack turn. How many dice? Four. More. Not double modify here. Single modifier. Pretty decent, though. One hit, two crits. Looking at Poe. Mm, why is this three agility? Oh, it's because it was, it was obstructed. And it looks like Poe did end up taking one card there. That is a damage sensor array. 
Sarasu going into Poe, range one. Two hits, one more hit going in. Poe being left at two. Range three shot, Covenel into Gomet Key. No, Kova using her primary dies. Hit crit going into Comet. Here's the reroll. Double squiggles there. Natty's Gomet Key gets to survive so far. And has the possibility now of taking Poe Dameron out at range one. Three dice. Can he get the kill? Not with the trail mix. And Poe able to evade. Our score here at the end of the fourth round. Lots of shooting there. We only had one ship go down so far, though, on each side. We got Genesis Red down, Fort Scum, and Kaz for the resistance. Lots of offensive. Uh, <laughs> there you go. This is a crazy offensive power display, says Dread Champ. Our lists available. Yes, we will make them available here. Um, I did get them downloaded. Just need to upload them to our drive. Give them one second. I'll get that link updated. Let's go ahead and upload those lists. Sort this by date. Uploading. We should have that in the next five minutes. Our lists should be good to go. We're going to share it. Who are we going to share it with? The world. Share it with the world. Copy the link. I got to go give it to my robot. One second. Robot Butler. Butler. Okay. And this link is now available. You are good to go. And again, another shout out to the 8 bit deity keeping that sub train going. And we are ready for the next round. And it looks like player two or. <laughs> Jason will end up being player two this time. It's a tight race between both these players. Oh, watch out. He's throwing them out. We got those missiles out there. Those electro chaff missiles. Going to give Kova some problems. Handing out some jam. Evil Monkey Lord says, ask how many proton torpedoes, and it's about 50. Yeah, it's 48 proton torpedoes. And 22 proton rockets. Proton much? So good. It's great to hear your voice again, James. Yeah. Thank, thank you for for uh, for helping with all that, all, all that. Of course, yeah. <laughs> all all of that stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. How many total players? We were at nine. I know before drops, we were at like ninety two. Yeah, we're at eighty one right now. Eighty one. Okay, dokie.
So with all the timer shenanigans, how much do we have left on the global now? The global is at 60, 68. 68 minutes. Okay. So we're, we're at plus 38 from this timer. All right. All right, so I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and call it one hour. All right. Global is wow, uh, what a move from Sarasu. Felsepto dropping some subs in the chat as well. Looks like we're going to have some stuff to give away pr right away, James. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever will we do? <laughs> I guess we'll give things away. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, this, uh, this giveaway bar here, it goes to 300. It's pretty high uh, because... Our top prize today, James, our top prize is that limited edition Star Wars Celebration Ahsoka. Wait, so we're I, giving that away? Yeah. And I couldn't make you, it easy. You crazy. But here's what that means. If our friends here who are watching the Galactic Championship can't do it, we're going to keep that sub counter going into Monday's podcast and into Wednesday's flight club and we're just going to roll till we get to 300. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> uh big hit coming in from Nian, but uh Sarasu able to shrug it off a little bit, taking one. All right, we got Cavill firing here with that dorsal turret. Three dice coming in. And got three hits after spending the focus. Kova. And that, that chaff cloud is uh, pretty nice right now, blocking that focus. Uh, being able to push through uh, three damage. I Means Co Kova uh, left here limping two hole, and here comes Lima Kai. Uh, man, it's coming up eyeballs today. Three hits all out there, and spends focus takes two. One damage does go through. Lee Makai delivering some damage there to Nian Nub. I think that's first shield. Sarasu trying to add on to the pile. Give me your shield, boy. Man, do you go after Poe? Yeah. Going into Poe. He is. Yeah, he's going, going for that range two shot. Pew pew. Ooh, not enough. Yeah, leaning in to some good luck dice and does not uh, pay off. Kova taking a shot. No mods in sight. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you go, yeah, range two into uh, Cavill. Only one uh, green die. Mm -hmm. That's the right choice. Does have the Sarasu reroll though, Ooh, I think. Ooh, hit hit crit though. Pop, pop, pop. All three going into Cavill. Two shields and a crit. Put it on the hole. Uh, maybe. Oh, has Sarasu. Sarasu. No, never there mind. It is. Uh, but big importance here. Gonna drop that uh, that crate. Hmm. Range one, that means that won't be scored here by Cavill. Remember, those crates are dropped when a ship suffers critical damage, and that includes the shields. Yeah, this, it, 
Yeah, even if it's not a face-up card, it just needs to suffer a crit damage. Mm-hmm. Went to a long shot on Poe. Here's a roll. Single crit from Gomic Key. Oh. Ooh, wow. That it's got snuck through. through. What oh, do we get? A whole breach. A whole breach. It's a whole breach. Uh, it's a blank crit in this situation as Poe only has one hull left. Oh, James. This is our first premiere event without hull upgrade. I know. It's, it's incredible. It's Good. a glorious uh, world. We were actually talking about that earlier. Um, how I'm I'm pretty convinced that uh, you uh, <laughs> like <laughs> plotted with uh, with AMG to get it banned. Hey, listen, listen. Is it a a card that can be easily missed by opponents? Because oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I I definitely understand the reasoning for getting rid of it because it yep. is um, it is one of those uh cards that like literally will like make you so angry, uh, for both players. I think um, doing it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, my fault. I'll take credit for it. Call it, <laughs> call it the Dion the Dion, <laughs> Dion ban. I'll take it. I'll take it gladly. My friend uh, Stephen Parker's in the chat asking, when's the Eastern Time Zone event? That is Korriban. No, sorry, lies. Oricon. Oricon, and that is August 27th. If you, get, if you guys listen to all these names, you're like, oh, these all sound very, like, angry. That's because this is the, our Dark Side-themed tournament, guys. <laughs> all Dark Side. Have you guys Where's, taken a look at those prizes? Look at those prizes. Of course, Where's the nice-sounding our... one, like Moncala? Like, that's... Yeah, no. Nah. So so calm. So calm and ocean wavy. <laughs> uh, all dark side theme here for the Galactic Championship this year. Yeah, those prizes look amazing. Now, one of the things uh, somebody here, Dankmaster85, is talking about is uh, the, the lack of Vader Defender. I actually haven't had a chance to uh, to peek at those lists. Do how many how many do we have out there? Darth Vader in the Tie Defender four only, only four. We have um, two clusters and two heavy laser cannons. Okay. Uh, one of them did not take Juke, take, choosing instead for the Malice Marksmanship Pattern and Heavy Laser. Yeah, that, that pattern, that's an interesting choice just because, uh, there's not many red maneuvers on that dial, but having that pattern... Just makes it like opens it up so much. Like, oh yeah. Like, <laughs> like he's, he's he's never gonna do that one hard. It's like oh wait he has a pattern. Ugh. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I do it. I swear to God I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> like oh that two K just like doesn't exist. Like why would you ever two K if you have four K? It's like well I mean, you have pattern. I mean <laughs> nah, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe yeah. I will. That's pretty cheeky. I like it. Uh, a reminder to our viewing audience, if you want to see the lists, type exclamation point list. We do ask that you stay off of tabletop.to. It helps keep the tournament running much smoother. Uh, if you have any have any needs to look at lists, that's where you're going to go. We have it locked off there. Um, and if you guys want updates on specific things, let us let us serve you so that our players can uh, can get going. All right. Yeah, have you guys talked about uh, our faction breakdown for today yet? Uh, we haven't. I saw that you posted okay. it. Go ahead and you did the work, so go ahead and spread spread the information. Spread the love. All right, coming in uh, for our big spender, our most common list today is the Empire with twenty 
Empire lists. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Talking about Big Spender, Lambolo just dropping 50 subs in the chat, getting us to 155 out of 300 subs for the weekend. That, that is over halfway if my math is correct. That is correct. You, you are so good at math. <laughs> uh, wow. Big Spender indeed. Um... Next on our list is First Order with 14, so a big drop down. So uh, the Empire having six more lists than the First Order. Uh, next up is the Rebel, or actually Tide is Scum with another uh, 14 list for Scum. Then it's 13 for the Rebels, 9 for Republic, 8 for Separatists, and a lowly 3 for Resistance. And, so uh, so all, we're, we're seeing the, one of three resistance lists here? One of three. I had I had to make sure to, to get it today. But, uh, yeah, so um, I, th I think, uh, in, you know, in, in 2.5 points, uh, Empire was pretty, uh, pretty sad, but 2.6, um, yeah, not so sad, I think. Uh, 20 empire list crazy out of 81 that is almost just under a quarter of the list are empire um any, any other surprises in there for you mm, look at looking through what we got here how are we doing on fo like th that's that's a faction for me yeah that i just i haven't i feel like it's been quietly simmering under the surface like it hasn't been really part of the conversation yeah we're at 14 to this so tied for second yeah so we'll, we'll see i want to see what comes out of uh comes out of there yeah 14 of those um i'm not sure how all of those are made up though Let's see. Oh, wow. We have a four Whisper and a Malaris list. That sounds interesting. We have a, a, a Bomber Swarm. Wow. Mm. Do we have any Rogue classes today? Oh, yeah. Anybody, people are brave rogues. enough to bring them? I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, let's see. Um, I know we're still having overlay issues with them. But. Yeah, we have seven Rogue Glass Starfires today. Tasty. We have one list with two of them. Uh, Adam Hill uh, had Cad Bane and Nam Lum. Oh, snap. Okay, it's a little bit of scum action out there. I like it. All right, uh, we saw Nia Num do that awesome 4K that he has. Uh, do Pattern Analyzer, but not able to have someone at range one. So did not get to shed the stress. But gets an attack here, hit crit, focus. Into, into Lima, looks like. He's waiting for the roll on defense. Oh no, we got, we got a a reroll there. R R six D eight. Mm hmm. It does work on the ship that's carrying it as well. Ooh, stunned pilot. Let's make those those scary obstacles even more scary. Even more scary. <laughs> that's a potential three hits on an asteroid. <laughs> Stay yeah, let's, away. Let's not do that. I, I would not like my <laughs> my four ship or my four health ship to go over an asteroid and take <laughs> uh, all of its health. <laughs> oh, double crits coming in here from Cavill looking angry. Trying to continue the damage race into Nian, who is mostly healthy and gets enough. Yeah, that's a big importance because Nian is carrying a crate.
And spends one. Got it. There you go. Yeah. One more shield off Nian. Uh, yeah, we can check for Kova. Did we check Kova? Reach. She might. She might. Maybe can reach. It's probably. It's probably out. But she gets to try. Okay. Okay. All yeah. Right. You can definitely try. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the rules. You get to try. <laughs> I always check those ranges because uh, a lot of times I'll be like, "There's no way." That that is in range, and then you check it, and like, wow, that is definitely like okay. almost range two. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, ooh, I'm bad Maybe. at this game. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So right, it so looks like uh, one crate is picked up right now. Yeah. Okay, I think I... All right, so uh, with that round over, uh, round six, uh, we're going to see uh, the resistance take a slight advantage at nine to eight. All right, I have a problem here, James. You go ahead, keep on the commentating. I got to check on something, okay? All right. Yeah, Wani Hall, I... Um, have not seen the Zuckus um, Cad Bane yet, but I've theorized it, and it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, A-10 Air Knight. I think I only really... Um, especially in in real life, I only play two factions: Republican Rebel. Uh, but online, I think I uh, I'm a little bit more uh, playful with the other factions, testing out and trying out other things. That is the um, best way to uh, learn other ships and other factions is uh, to try and fly them for yourself. Yeah, with the um, changes to Ion, that Ion is not that big of a deal anymore. Yeah, but if you have other like passive mods, uh, like CAD does, uh, it's not that big of a deal. You don't need those locks sometimes, but yeah, if you need locks, then uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Wow, we're going to see a boost from Gamut here. Uh, still carrying around that dangerous fuel leak. You do not want to get caught unawares with that one.
Man, Cavill. Might see a barrel roll, possibly. Uh, just to get out of the arc of Nian Num. Going for a lock. Oh, on Poe. Wow. Threatening that last proton torpedo. Okay. Oh, he's going to pick up that objective. Sarasu says that's mine. Oh, man. The uh, Poe could barrel out here. Oh, there we see the stress go down on Cavill for locking uh, with Ferrosphere paint. Yeah. Okay, here we see the focus lock come down, uh, probably on to Cavill, I would say. Uh, he's the much more dangerous of the... Oh, going on Lima. Oh, I don't know if that's a great idea, but we'll see how it turns out. That is the lower health one, so might be able to take it out this round. And here's the last proton in the tubes for Poe. Wow, big shot coming in for uh, between Nee In and Poe being able to take down Lima. Lima does still get to shoot this round. Here comes a proton torpedo coming from Cavill. Wow, that's a lot of grits. <laughs> Spin the lock for the last one. Uh, doesn't get all four, but wow, big shot coming in. Uh, I think that still takes out Poe. All right, what's that leave the score at here? We have 14-13 in favor of the scum now.
Okay. Big round here for the uh for the scum being able to pick up that other objective point with Sarasu and only two more resistance ships to worry about. But that should be the last proton torpedo for Cavill. Uh, Sarasu doesn't have a lot of options to get away from Nien. Uh, so if Nien is able to track down Sarasu, that could be a way to get him back in the game. Because he's going to need to either take out... Cavill this turn, which will get him five points, or he'll need to take out Sarasu, which will uh, put him in the lead. Looks like the first player is going to be Anthony with the scum. Okay, that R4 astromech coming in pretty. Uh, coming in pretty amazing for Kova. Oh, Cavill's going to pick up one of those objectives, I think. Looking at his options, could pick one of those up or could focus. He's going to pick up the crate. I think that's the right choice. He has plenty of hole. He's probably not going to get a shot unless he rotates his arc. Okay. Uh... Ooh, Sarasu taking that evade, knowing that needs to keep Sarasu alive. Because this is most likely going to be the last round here. Do see Nian? He does the Talon to the right uh, towards the top of the board. Uh, trying to, uh, if he can take down Cavill this turn, um, it's going to be difficult. But if he does, that'll put him in the lead. Okay, you get a Pattern Analyzer boost to get in range for his ability to not take that stress. And then take a focus. Okay. He's going to need to put through six damage here on the Cavill. Does not have a defense token on Cavill, and he's going to be taking seven dice between Kova and Nien. Hit crit coming from uh, Sarasu, but able to shrug it off. Okay, we see two hits and a crit coming in, and they're going to go through. That's uh, step one. You get three damage there, and a console fire, uh, and it is too late. He has already engaged, but he's going to drop it. That's uh, pretty, pretty lucky there to get that crit through. But he's going to need to finish. Uh, Cavill off to ensure the win here. OK, 
Okay. Three dice. He's going to need all three paint here. He does not get it. And that will uh, secure the game for Anthony. Great job. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.